Don't stop. Don't stop. You can't oh, stop. Oh, you were talking to me. I thought you were talking no, to me. No, no. No, I, I was just making sure you didn't stop. Because no, if no. you're on a good thing. <laughs> so, when I'm looking at these colours and shapes and, and balance, I'm thinking it all looks flat uh, until you start putting in the, all these bright shapes. But that's what stopped it. So, like you said, well, now I have my uh, shadows, my shapes, my wall. To, to bring out the shapes of everything else that's there. But when you paint a window or shapes like that, they go with one stroke. When I'm painting in the, some of these patterns and shapes in the background, you have a nice pointy brush to do this with, it helps. Complimentary. shape away a little bit, keep a little bit of that. And I'm using the brush on the side a lot, like I mentioned to our good friend Faye, who's uh, going like crazy over there. always conscious of uh, that value. You're all your painting and then you sort of, uh, you know, the, the little things that wrote uh, a few, not much, but, and a few of the lighter marks, but not much. So, you know, you sort of really say, well, I want a little bit of that energy, a little bit of, I can see a few key things, a couple of the diorites in here. So I'm looking at the colour of the road, but it always has to be dry, because if you do it on, on um, wet paper, it doesn't work. Sometimes like uh, in here, uh, just getting the right feel on there to make sure it's curling around. Mm -hmm. Just a few of those shapes. I don't really want. If you keep painting, it doesn't work. So it's better to just say, "I do it quick." And, yeah. mm. So little things. Yeah. Okay. 